guys, what's again? How you doing? What's happening? What's going on? Here's the reality. Today I want to talk about brand versus commodity. Why is it that some companies can charge whatever you want, whatever they want, and people still buy it? Why is it that some people got to give sales or discounts? The answer is real simple. In a brand, if you have a brand, you literally can charge whatever you want because they see there's a value imbalance, meaning they think that they're getting way more in value than what they're paying. Commodity is they're going after the discount plans or whatever. And so that relates to a dental practice. Like if you think of a brand, right, you might think of Tiffany's, you might think of even Crumble Cookie, you might think of Chick-fil-A, you might think of Ritz Carlton, you might think of Louis Vuitton, you might think of Nike. And the cool thing is, is how do you really know do you have a brand or a commodity that if you can raise your fees and it really doesn't impact, you don't have a lot of attrition from your clients or your patients or your people that are buying your products, you tend to have a brand. A brand are stories that the patients want or the people want that buy it. They know when they might have bought their first, well, if they can. There's people that are in line to buy Louis Vuitton bags. There are people in line to buy Crumble Cookies, Chick-fil-A. There are people, and because that brand represents something bigger to them, a higher value, of practice, a value in balance. They think they're getting more for that product than what they're even paying. That's a brand. Some people might think of Target as a brand where Walmart could be a commodity. I don't know. McDonald's versus, we'll just use Chick-fil-A again because everyone seems to love Chick-fil-A. I'm not a big Chick-fil-A fan. Your business in your general practice is the same. Do you have a brand or do you have a commodity? Do you have to give discounts for patients to say yes? If the answer is yes, you have more of a commodity. If you are relying on insurances and people like that to come in here, you have more of a commodity. If patients come and go in droves, you have a commodity. You could also have a bad culture fit, but you more than likely have a commodity. How do you create that brand? Does the world, do your patients even know what it is you're trying to accomplish, what you stand for, your core values, your beliefs? Because the brand is the stories that the patients understand. Culture is the stories that your employees understand. When you create a brand, when you create the colors, you see the black and gold behind me, I tend to have a brand. They know that when they come into my dental practice, they know my enthusiasm, my motivation, my customer service, what type of dentistry I am. Do I do an all-in-one shop? What am I? I'm more of a brand. So I literally can get a Medicaid patient or anybody to pay $50,000 for care because it's becoming more of a brand. Now, when I fail, it's a commodity. I used to have marketing directors that would try to get people, hey, half off this, 99 cent cleanings this, free x-rays this. That's a commodity. I don't go after that. You are not competing with other people. Commodities compete. Brands do not. Brands have their values, their belief system, and their principles, and they execute and the patients will pay. If you have a value imbalance where you're, they think they're getting more in value than what they're paying for, you're going to dominate. You attract what you want to attract. Who is your ideal client? Do they want to come for a brand or do they want to come for discounts? You can't complain in life if you're not making the money you decide you want to make because you decided to create a commodity. Because you live in a scarcity mindset and a lack of abundance and think of that if you don't get this discount, they won't come in. Shoot, even your staff members that you have are going to want to have a commodity because why? Remember, they have their own limiting belief system of what it is they can afford. You have to be so strict in this. You got to make sure your brand is rock solid. And that everything you do following up to that creates more of a brand than a commodity. If you do this, if you establish your brand, if you establish what you represent, if people know your core values and principles, if you allow your patients to become part of the story to represent your brand, they will wear it with pride. You'll see them wearing your shirts like they would wear a Nike shirt. You'll see them wearing your shirts like they would carry a Louis Vuitton bag. It will happen if you create that brand. You create a commodity, it won't. Hope this helps. We'll talk soon.